but if you're if you make a left turn like right now, the TGP can still look down the aircraft and uh, it won't give you as much of a masking problem. So it's always uh, always advisable to make left turns. Uh, on the F-18, I believe the target pod is on the left side of the aircraft and we would always make right turns from what I remember. I could be wrong about that. Okay, so we'll, we'll uh, head back towards waypoint 3. And right now you can see a, a fall line start to develop there. And um, there's the target range. We are currently 26 miles away. And you see that little box? That's the cursor right there. Okay. So I'll go ahead and, and uh, TMS down. And again, if you move your steer points and this TGP box is just snapping to the uh, steer points, you know that it's in radar lock. When, and anytime you get lost in this entire scenario, all you got to do is TMS down. It'll deselect the target that you have locked up and it will um, return you to your predetermined steer points. So we want to keep it on three because that's where the range is. Now, observe the box over the range there. If you try to move your cursor, you can't do it. You got to go TMS down. Or excuse me, you actually have to go, it's kind of counterintuitive. You got to go TMS up and do an area lock. So right there, it's an area lock. And once you do that, you can move your cursor around. See that box? That's actually where our TGP is looking, right? Um, obviously, we get a much more clear picture uh, using the TGP screen, so you can see it moving around. So again, TMS back, it's going to snap to waypoint 3, okay? TMS up, and it's going to do an area lock. Once you do an area lock, you can move your cursor, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in all the way. This is using the... Uh, I have it mapped on the HOTUS again, uh, but it's on the throttle, and it, uh, I think it's just a cursor, like a range cursor. <laughs> and you can see the 4X there. You can zoom out, or you can zoom in all the way up to 4. I usually like to zoom all the way in and then just use my pinky switch to refine that. Okay, so let's say we want to target this center MIG right here. Okay, you're just going to go TMS up again, and it is going to uh, lock that target. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn back towards the target. And the next thing you want to look for is a laser arm should should be on, a master arm should be on, obviously. And uh, we'll go over to the uh, SMS page. And we have GBU-12 selected in CCRP mode, as you can see up there. Okay, These are all things to do before you actually uh, launch. Um, there's other things that you can do, you can do ripple launches, and, and you can actually lob this um, this munition. Uh, you can do a dive toss, and that's the release angle there. But uh, you can kind of do a combination of, of you know, uh, lofting the bomb as and giving it laser guidance at the same time. So that'll give you a little more standoff. That's more complicated. But for right now, we're just going to focus on the basic uh, implementation. If you look down here, you see this countdown 47, 46, 45, 44. That's our countdown to release. Okay. So the most important thing right now is that you want to be flying a constant as constant an airspeed as possible at a constant altitude. You don't want to be making any type of pitch corrections and you want to be flying exactly on the fall line. CCRP is uh, is very finicky in that if you do not um, fly a perfect profile, the computer just will not uh, waste the uh, munition on a bad run. Okay, So again, you look at the TGP, TMS up, and it's uh, TMS up once gives you an area lock, TMS up again gives you a point lock. Okay, So right now you want to hold there's the first fall line. Um, we're still 20 seconds out. I usually, you know, you, you can do it 10 seconds out, 15, whatever, whatever you feel comfortable. But once you see that second fall line, okay, you want to fly as still and as close to the horizon as possible. So you try to maintain altitude, try not to be in any type of turn, okay? And that second line's going to come. Don't be in a turn if you are. There. it'll uh, release, um, it won't release the bomb. So I, as you notice, I, didn't, I released two bombs there, and they were maybe uh, half a second apart. What I'm going to do is let the first bomb impact, 
and then I'm going to move the cursor to a different point. Okay. So once that first bomb impacts, I'm going to go ahead and move it. And you see how the other bomb tracked the laser. Now I released those way too soon. Um, if you, you know, obviously if you give yourself a little more time, you can release one bomb after the other, and you can. Uh, track multiple targets because basically all you're doing is moving that laser across the ground so boom you know you can pickle wait a couple seconds pickle again and move the uh, laser and it'll hit uh, the bomb will follow the, the laser beam all the way down um, so I hope that helps and that's just LGB implementation